Ladies and gentlemen, if I ask you how cold or warm you feel inside this room, I will have different answers. But I reckon most of us would be in their comfort zone. What when we was outside? Our, di our diversity would really matter here, and also our comfort level. As architects and urban designers, we can make you feel warm when it's cold, and we can make you feel hot, um, cool when it's warm. That is how powerful the design is. I can easily provide comfort inside this room. It's a controlled environment. But when we were outside, there is no much shelter to provide in there. And there is also the variety of climatic parameters. It might be sunny, raining, hot, humid, windy. And that is all changing along the year. And in some places like here in Melbourne, along the day. <laughs> Talking about Melbourne, please have a look with me at the photo of Federation Square. And you can easily distinguish the multicultural nature in Melbourne community. So I am not providing comfort to people having only different age or gender, but I'm also dealing with cultural diversity. Is it important to make them all feel comfortable? Let me share with you something significant that came into my literature review in relation to thermal comfort. Thermal comfort was found to have a very direct relationship with the usability of public places. So when I am providing for you a comfortable place, I'm also promoting the integration with an individual in societies. And in a multicultural place like Melbourne, that will help reduce the crime levels and create what we call sustainability of cultural diversity. That is the core of my study. I'm trying to explore how we can, uh, the impact of urban design on promoting thermal comfort for different cultural diversities. I'm trying to know how we can design that place that accommodate this diversity and what variable in design should adjust in order to make everyone comfortable. How am I doing that? I'm measuring climate. I'm also using a structured questionnaire for different people, but I'm also monitoring their movement in the space to understand their pattern of usage and behavior. At the end, my study is to provide a set of design guidelines for designing urban places that accommodate are uncomfortable to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, through comfortable urban places, I hope to accommodate cultural diversity within societies. Thank you for listening.